course you're saying to yourself, well, Lauren, why do I need to learn how to cut up my own chickens? This is the 21st century. I can go into any butcher shop I want, any supermarket, and buy them prepackaged and cut up, and that's absolutely true, and you will do that when you don't have time to do it yourself. But the, tr the truth is, is that it feels different to you as a person. It feels different. It's stronger as a person to be able to make that choice out of agenda, and not because you couldn't cut up a chicken if you tried. There are also really, there are reasons why it's actually beneficial to cut up your own chickens. The first being that the better you get up, you know, at cook, you know, cutting up a raw chicken, the more adept you'll become at carving a roast chicken because the bones don't move. It's really very helpful to understand a bird when it's in its raw state. Also, 10 times out of 10, not even nine times out of 10, when you ask a butcher or you buy a chicken that's pre-cut, you will have, they will have the bony back right here incorporated into other pieces. Now, you see here the breast meat is nice and plump and it's juicy, it's got lots of meat, but the back is all skin and bones, which makes great stock, but it doesn't make for great eating. So why not know how to cut up your chickens and have your back separate in the freezer so that anytime you want, you could you know, develop a little stash of, of backs and you can then make a, a pot of stock. So let me show you how to cut up this chicken into eight serving pieces. First of all, you need a sharp carving knife. The first incision is going to be to separate the legs from, from the chicken. And what I'm doing here is I'm just pulling the skin. I'm pulling the skin taut between the drumstick and the breast meat. I'm going to take my knife and just slit the skin. I did not touch the meat. I just slit the skin. I'm going to put my finger my thumb deep into that incision and I'm going to bend it back. Now you see that bone? That's my point of interference, that if I put my knife into this chicken and I didn't know where that bone was, chances are I'd get caught. But now that I see it, it can't get in my way. So then I just hold the chicken up by its leg and I cut underneath that exposed bone. I'll show you how to separate the drumstick from the thigh in a little while. I'm going to do this again. I'm going to take the other leg off. Again, I'm just going to cut this. I'm going to cut the skin, and I'm going to bend back the leg. Again, there's my point of interference. I'm going to hold this, and I'm going to just cut off my chicken leg. Now, to remove the wing, sometimes people get confused. Some, you know, you could, should I remove it from the breast side? Should I remember? you know, remove them from the back side. The best way to remember how to cut off the wings is to hold the chicken up by its wing and look for its ticklish spot. In the armpit, of course, right there. So you just, all you do is just take the knife blade, slit into that portion, bend back the wing, and again, what you're doing is you're exposing the bone at the joint. Take your knife blade and just go right in there and your wing comes right off. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to actually put my wing right on that. Hold it up. Take a little spot. Bend it back. Now, here's my plump, beautiful breast. Here is my bony back. I want to remove this back. Now, I'm going to pull out this little wad of fat from the cavity. I'm going to take the blade of my knife, and I'm just going to run down the ribs and just bend this back. If you need the, the aid of, you could just use your knife or you could use poultry scissors, but this is really not a big deal. So you take this back and you put this in the freezer for stock. Now, before I separate, there's a little bone there. Before I separate my breast halves, I want to make sure to correct my skin so that it looks beautiful. Then I turn it over, breast, you know, skin side down. Now, right in between, my point of interference with the breast is the breast bone, which is right underneath this little white piece of cartilage, which is right here. So what I'm doing is I, I've positioned the breast pointy side away from me, okay? And what I'm gonna do here is take my knife and just slit the breast, the, the cartilage 
that's over the breastbone. And then I'm going to just bend this back, just like that. Now, just so you know, if you do this and some, for some reason you split the breastbone by accident, it's going to take a little bit more muscle to get it out, but it will come out. What I'm doing is I'm just running my thumb down under the, the breastbone and the central piece of cartilage, right like that, like that, see? And you just pull it out in one piece. Sometimes it's in two pieces, so again, don't worry, it will come out. Put this with your back, this stays with you, into the freezer for stock. Now again, before I divide my breast in half, I want to correct my skin. Turn it over now, skin side down, and just take the knife and just cut. Now what I want to do is separate my drumstick from the thigh. So you'll see, here's the skin side. What you want to do is you want to turn it skin side down with the knee, the, the drumstick, pointing, you know, facing away from you. And you want to feel right in between the drumstick and the thigh. There's a little space. It's right there and it's in every single bird, no matter what. So you want to feel for it because that's the space where you're going to put your blade. If for some reason you put your blade in and you can't get through, don't force it because you won't win. You're going to just be crazy. What you want to do is take the blade out and put your finger here and find it again. See how easy when you find that space? There's my thigh. I'm going to do this one more time. Again, skin side down. You want to just feel there's a little space. So now what I've done is I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces of chicken, and I have my bony chicken back for stock. So now you actually have homework, and before I talk about your homework, I want to talk about keeping things clean and bacteria free. This, right now, I'm a bacteria city. I have to clean up. I have to disinfect everything. You never, ever, ever want to cook, put anything that you're going to eat raw onto a board that you have used with raw meat, any raw meat, but especially pork and poultry. So what you'd want to do now is disinfect this. You want to put it in the sink. You can run this, this particular type of board, this heavy plastic, you can run through the dishwasher after you wash it and dry it. You run it through the dishwasher. But you'd also, you can keep a homemade sanitation solution at home. And this is what you do. You'd mix one tablespoon of chlorine bleach, you know, like Clorox, with a gallon of warm water, not cold water and not hot water, warm water. And you mix that together, and then you, after you wash and dry everything with soap and water, then you pour that disinfectant over, over your stuff, and then after you rinse, you sweeten everything up with some lemon, some cut lemon. So that's how you keep things clean. So now you've got homework. Mm -hmm. Yes, you do. You have homework. I want you to get up. And you're going to go to the market, and you're going to buy two chickens, not one. I want you to buy two chickens. And then I want you to come home, and I want you to watch this twice, this whole procedure of cutting up a, a, a raw chicken into serving pieces. And then I want you to do it twice. The first time is going to be a little bit, you know, touch and go. The second time is going to be much, much easier. This is really important. I want you to internalize this skill as opposed to keeping it trapped within me. This is something I want you to know how to do. The only way to know how to do it is to do it. So you got it? You got to do it. So get to it and email me. I'm just an email away. Go ahead. Hurry up.